Hi, today I'm going to show you how to get your RANDs into Bitcoin. And in order to do that, we need to show you how to use the Altcoin Trader platform. So what I need you to do is go to altcointrader.co.za and register yourself an account. You can do that over here. Make sure it's the exactly right um, address, altcointrader.co.za, and click on register. Once here, you create your own username, email, select the password, and then you have to enter this capture code, which basically makes sure you are not a robot, and click on register. You probably receive an email in which you have to click and verify. Once you're finished setting up your account, you can log in over here. Once you've logged into your account, you will see on the top here your username appears, and then you'll see a BTC balance and a South African Rand balance. For you who are brand new, we'll have zero on both balances. So first let's start with how to deposit funds onto this account. If you look on the top over here, you see there's a deposit button. Click on deposit, which will bring you to a drop down list. This allows you to deposit various currencies, Rand or a number of different cryptocurrencies. For the purpose of today, we're just going to focus on RANDs. Now you can see here, under the South African RAND list, that there are three different bank accounts you can use. FNB, Standard Bank or Net Bank. Choose whichever bank you bank with. If you don't bank with any of these, that doesn't make a difference. It merely means that your deposit will take two to three working days to clear. Most importantly is your reference number. If you don't use the reference number, Altcoin Trader does not know which account to allocate the funds to. So make sure when you are making your deposit to use your specific reference number and not mine. When you're choosing to make this deposit, you can either load Altcoin Trader as a beneficiary on your banking, or you can make a one-sort deposit, depending on how often you think you might be using this service. Once you've made the deposit, depending on which bank you've used, you will see that your RAND value will show up on the right-hand corner, as you can see over here. This account has 1,680 Rand. You will receive an email from Altcoin Trader stating that you've received a deposit. That email looks something like this. Here you can see, Dear Quick Brown Fox, you have received a Bitcoin deposit of 0 0.01 on your Altcoin Trader wallet. This address was paid to this address and the transaction ID is this. Now note, when you receive your deposit, it'll say you've received a South African RAND deposit into your account, depending obviously which currently, currency you have deposited. Okay, so once you've got your RAND balance in, let's go back to the home page and show you how to convert RAND into Bitcoin. So over here is what you can see is getting chart. We're not going to be teaching you guys about trading just yet. But what you can see is on the right hand side, the various prices of the various currencies that are available on this platform. So here you can see the current Bitcoin price as today's date is 144,700 Rand. Now you'll be pleased to know you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. Bitcoin is divisible by eight decimal places, which means you could buy 0 0.0000001 of Bitcoin. Um, so whatever Rand value you have made available, that is what you will use. And you simply scroll down to here where it says buy Bitcoin. Okay, so you take the amount that you have available in RANDs, 1680 and 58 cents, and it automatically populates at what the current sell offers are and how much Bitcoin you'll receive for the amount of RAND you're wanting to buy with. It also instructs you what the fee is. There is a small fee with every trade and it instructs you underneath there. All you need to now do is click Buy Bitcoin. Now you'll see a little pop-up window which says Confirm your buy order, which states again the amount, the price, and how much RAND you're wanting to spend. Click on the blue button which says Buy. Now, if you go back to the top of your screen, you'll see the RAND balance has disappeared and you now have Bitcoin. So congratulations, you've just bought your first cryptocurrency. The next step, which is rather integral, is how to move it off an exchange. Because although Altcoin Trader is a phenomenal platform, you don't necessarily want to leave funds on an exchange, just for security reasons. So what we're going to do next is we're going to move the funds from your Altcoin Trader account into a wallet. And that'll be in the second video.